Welcome to Declassify Malaysia. In chapter 26, we will discuss devolution of power for the colonization process of Sabah and Sarawak. Here, we will discuss the devolution of power mechanism as specified in the federal constitution. In the past, and even today, we heard a lot of politicians clamoring for devolution of power for Sabah and Sarawak. But did they really do it constitutionally or for their interest, which is just to gain political point by duping and lying the gullible people out there? Let us judge the politician constitutionally. The constitution was written to protect the people. Use the constitution to protect ourselves from politicians who try to lie and dupe by using a matter of devolution of power. First, let us briefly understand what is devolution of power? In the context of Malaysia, the devolution of power is about the transfer of power from federal government to state government. It is a process of constitutional reform whereby by power, whereby the power but not legal sovereignty is distributed to, to federal or state government. It's work both way. Devolution is the statutory granting of power from the Parliament of the Federation of Malaysia to the state government of Sabah or Sarawak and to the associated executive bodies, the Sabah or Sarawak government. In the context of Malaysia, the devolution of power mainly surrounding the enumerated power in the ninth schedule of the federal constitution. In Malaysia, we all must know Malaysia practice enumerated power as specified in the ninth schedule of the federal constitution. This is the basic of how to govern the country. There is an enumerated power in the federal constitution in the ninth schedule. This is what defines the distribution of power between the federal and state government. In the Federation of Malaysia, the federal government and state government of Sabah and Sarawak can adjust the devolution settlement either by order of the Yang Dipertuan Agong or through ordinary primary legislation. These are the two main options available for the devolution of power. Here, we, we will only discuss how order of the Yang Dipertuan Agong can be activated and used to solve complex devolution settlements involving the federal government and state government of Sabah and Sarawak. Devolution settlement mechanism by order of the Yang Dipertuan Agong is provided in Article 95C of the federal constitution with a heading of power by order to extend legislative or executive powers of states. This is uh, the new heading of the federal constitution as of 2010. This provision was added by Malaysia Act 1963, number 26, section 38, in force from 16 September 1963. This provision, Article 95C, was inserted into the federal constitution based on Malaysia Agreement 1963, section 38 of Annex A. Malaysia Bill of 
Malaysia Agreement 1963. The original Federal Constitution of Malaya in 1957 has no such provision. Federal Constitution of Malaya in 1957 has no Article 95C. This provision on devolution of power was only inserted in 1963 when the states of Sabah and Sarawak formed the new Federation of Malay Malaysia together with the Federation of Malaya and the state of Singapore. Article 95C Clause 1 of the original Federal Constitution in 1963 We are talking about the original Federal Constitution in 1963 when Malaysia was formed express that with a heading power by order to extend legislative or executive powers of Borneo states subject to the provision of any act of parliament passed after Malaysia Day the Yang Dipertuan Agong may by order make as respect a Borneo state any such provision as may be made by Act of Parliament. A. For authorizing the legislature of the state to make law as mentioned in Article 76A or for extending the executive authority of the state and the powers or duties of any authority of the state as mentioned in Clause 4 of Article 80 of Federal Constitution. In Article 95C, Clause 1A, the mentioned Article 76A was only inserted in the Federal Constitution based on Section 37 of Malaysia Agreement 1963. In the original Federation of Malaya 1957 Constitution, there is no such provision as well. In the Constitution of Federation of Malaya 1957, there has no Article 76A. This provision, Article 76A, was only inserted based on Malaysia Agreement 1963 when the new Federation of Malaysia was formed on 16 September 1963. So Article 95C and Article 76A is the new provision inserted in the Federal Constitution to form a new Federal Constitution of Malaysia. How did this new provision based on Malaysia Agreement 1963 was inserted into the new Federation of Ma into the new Feder Federal Constitution of Malaysia? This is a simple mechanism. It was made based on Malaysia Act 1963 number 26 which was passed by the Parliament of the Federation of Malaya on August 1963. So, we have Malaysia Agreement and then Malaysia Act 1963, number 26 and then all these provisions, this specific provision inserted into the new Federation, Federal Constitution of Malaysia in 1963. Therefore, at this stage, Based on the original Federal Constitution 1963, there are three articles in the Federal Constitution that need to be read together in the name of devolution of power, which is Article 95C, Article 76A, and Article 80, Clause 4 of the Federal Constitution. You know, the framers of the new Federal Constitution of the Federation of Malaysia was very smart. As you can see, they properly harmonized the reading of the new inserted provision of Article 95C and Article 76A with the original Article 80 Clause 4. So that there will be no inconsistency in the new Federal Constitution of the Federation of Malaysia. Now, just by reading how the article are read together, we know that the framers of the new federal constitution know what they are doing. 
the framers have a full knowledge and understanding of the Federal Constitution of Malaya 1957 and definitely know how to insert a new provision accordingly. These framers are the British. They are the one who help and guide the construction of the new Federal Constitution of Malaya in 1957 and they are also the one who know all the letters and the words all the sentence for the construction of the new federal constitution of the Federation of Malaysia, Malaysia 1963. So you see, the new provision and the original provision was read together. They know what they are doing. Now, back to the topic of devolution of power. Article 95C provide the Yang Deputuan Agong may by order under Article 95C1A authorizing the legislature of the state to make laws as mentioned in Article 76A. Under Article 95C Clause 1B for extending the executive authority of the state and the powers or duties of any authority of the state as mentioned in Clause 4 of Article 80. Article 95C Clause 1A are talking about the transfer of legislative power, while Article 95C Clause 1B are talking about the authority that will hold this, this new legislative power. Simple as that. When we read Article 95C, together with Article 76A, order of the Yang Deputuan Agong under Article 95C, Clause 1A, read together with Article 76A, Clause 1, will provide for the Parliament to authorize, the Parliament will authorize the legislature of a Borneo state, either Sabah or Sarawak subject to such condition or, res or restriction, if any, as parliament may impose, to make laws with respect to the wall or any part of a matter enumerated in the federal list. So parliament can authorize the state to make law. It can be the wall part of federal list or any part of the federal list. In a simple word, through order of the Yang Deputuan Agong, federal legislative rights, as specified under the ninth schedule of the federal constitution, can be devolved to the state government of Sabah and Sarawak. The words a bonus state was, was used here. Means that at any time, it is either the state government of Sabah and Sarawak can start any devolution of power that they want. At any time, at any time, no need to do it. No need to do it together. They can activate the process of the devo of the devolution of power individually. No need to do it to do it together. If Sarawak want to start devolution of power on certain enumerated power, they can do it. If Sabah want to do this kind of power for the dev for devolution of power, they can do it. Or they can do it together. They can do it individually. It's a flexible process. That's why the word a bonus state was used here. Any state, Sabah or Sarawak, can do it at any time. They can do devolution of power at any time. And for any legislative rights, as they think fit. A very flexible process. Exactly as confirmed by United Nations Mission Report in 14 September 1963, which specified that Malaysia was formed based on UN Resolution 1541. It is one type of decoloniz decolonization process, which is a flexible process. That is UN Resolution 1541. 1541. A simple word. That is a decolonization process that is a flexible any item in the federal list can be devolved to state government of Sabah and Sarawak. 
This is how the devolution of power can happen to a constitutional mechanism as specified in the federal constitution. Based on the new provision of Article 95C and Article 76A, as agreed in Malaysia Agreement 1963, and already inside the federal constitution, here clearly that it has been agreed and constitutional that there will be devolution of power from federal government to state government. There will be devolution of power from federal government to the state government of Sabah and Sarawak. What the point of inserting this new Article 95C and Article 76A if it was never to be used, if it was never to be activated? This Article 95C and Article 76A was there to be activated and used for devolution of power. So, use it. That is what our, the famous, our forefather want. They want devolution of power. This means Article 95C Clause 1A provide for the transfer of the any item in the federal list into state list. This is simply a devolution of power from federal law into state law. For example, when the state government have enough competency to take over education, which is now under federal list, took order of the Yang Depetuan Agong, the state government can take over legisla legislation and jurisdiction over, edu over education from the federal government. Article 95C Clause 1A provide a mechanism whereby the nine schedule of the federal constitution can be modified by an order of the Yang Depetuan Agong, subject to the agreement of both the federal government and state government. The agreement between government concerns would mainly involve the funding mechanism, public service, and so on, before the transfer of responsibility can be done. Meanwhile, Article 95C Clause 2 enable the amendment or to repeal an act of parliament passed after Malaysia Day where that is considered necessary or expedient in connection with other provisions made by the order. The federal government commitment for devolution of power and to ensure that the devolution settlement works for the state government must, demonst must demonstrate they must demonstrate it through activating order of the Yang Deputuan Agong under Article 95C, Clause 2, Clause 1A. Order of the Yang Deputuan Agong under Article 95C, if discharged properly, will then acknowledge the legislative competency of the state legislature in terms of devolution of power. Procedurally, under Article 95C, Clause 5, the draft of the order of the Yang Deputuan Agong under this article shall be laid before each house of parliament. This is the procedure. Order of the Yang Deputuan Agong will be laid in Dewan Rakyat and Dewan Negara before it can be implemented. The same procedure is required for the next adjustment mechanism, which is the extending of the executive authority of the state and the powers or duties of of any authority of the state for any specified provision of federal law being transferred into state law through Article 95C Clause 1B. Therefore, there is no question of how devolution of power between federal government and state government should work in the Federation of Malaysia. This provision to do so already incorporated as Article 95C, Article 76A, and Article 80, Clause 4 of the Federal Constitution based on Malaysia Agreement 1963. Constitutional mechanism is already in the Federal Constitu Constitution. Just use it. No need to question how to do this, how to do that, how to do this devolution of power. No question. It is already in 1963 inserted in the Federal Constitution. So use it. This is one of the mechanism of devolution settlement on how the federal government and state government can retain flexibility to adjust the settlement without the recourse to primary legislation. 
Thank you for watching.